I can't believe it. Uber Eats deactivated me. What are you going to do when this happens to you? I was so surprised to check my email and, and get one from Uber Eats saying that I had been deactivated. Instantly, my spirits dropped. I could feel my heart pounding. I thought, what? I use this to make money. How can I be deactivated? So in this video, I'm going to share information with you on Uber Eats appeal process. And I'm also going to give you some insight and feedback on my thoughts from this whole process. And that way, when it happens to you, and yeah, you heard me, we're at high risk of getting deactivated. So when this happens to you, you can use these tips to help yourself out or at least manage your expectations so that you don't get your hopes up unnecessarily or crushed unnecessarily. All right, let's get started. All right, the first step is you need to see the reason that they gave you for being deactivated. And I imagine that they're vague and not specific on purpose. If they are in your case, then that's great. But in my case, I had no idea. They did not tell me why I was deactivated just due to fraud. And that's not very helpful. But in actuality, I knew you saw my uh, recent video when I did the shop and pay order. And I had so many issues with that. I was pretty certain that was the order that they deactivated me for. And so the first step that you need to do, the first thing is go back. And if they're not going to tell you the incident, then use your best judgment. Go back and gather all the evidence that you have, whether that's body cam footage, uh, screenshots, um, texts, whatever you have. Um, gather all that information first, and then you want to be very organized and clear. Step through the entire order, sharing what you know with facts, and then back that up. I hope by now you get the idea. You should be documenting all your deliveries and clearly state in your appeal that you have camera, video footage, text, screenshots that you are willing to share with them for their review. And that's going to be key. It shows that you are taking care of yourself and you're not going to take this laying down. So gather all your information and carefully write out the script of what you want to say to Uber Eats for this deactivation. In my example, since I suspected it was from an order, I just stepped through by time and I went back and I used my car's um, GPS information, you know, the, the mileage tracking, so I could tell the times that I started the trip and then got to the store and then to the customer. That helped me uh, give an exact time of when something happened. I also happen to be doing screenshots, which I do for every order. In, in this case, I did take more screenshots than usual because I was going to make a video about it, doing my first uh, shop and pay order. But in general, I always screenshot everything, uh, the customer's information, what they ordered, how many items, you name it. And every time that I'm uh, stepping through the app, I have screenshots of everything. I also use a body cam and dash cam footage so that I'll have that in case I need it. Let's, uh, let's go on to the next step. When you click on it, whoa, look at this. Do you see? It's a Google Docs. So you're going to have to have an email address. Um, in my case, I used my email from this channel but since it's Gmail. Uh, the email that I have with Uber Eats is not the same one, but uh, my appeal did go through okay. So you may want to prepare in advance if you don't have a Google account or if you're using an email for the different apps. You should register it with uh, Google Docs now so that when you need it, you don't have to try to reset your password. Because actually I ran into that um, in my case. Uh, the email that I normally use for these apps I guess I had already had an account. I couldn't unlock it and uh, it was frustrating. But either way, the Gmail address worked. So let's go on to the next step. So you can see there under email, you want to enter the email address that you are using on Uber Eats. That's important. Put that in there. Next, you want to put your first and last name. And then this next block, isn't this a, this is a winner right here. Look, it says, why do you think your account was incorrectly deactivated? Really? So you can tell Uber Eats is playing, I have a secret. 
we're the good guys and you're the bad guy. You are guilty until proven innocent. And we're gonna play with you, even though that you rely on our income for your livelihood, we're not gonna be up front and give you information so that you can know what you're accused of. Nope, we're gonna play, I have a secret, and you tell me, what do you feel guilty for? You know, what did you do wrong? So in this step, don't just start typing. You want to prepare. Uh, type in another document so that you can just cut and paste. And you're going to find out really quick that it's text. Only text is what you can submit. You can't upload photos or video. And so this is why you need to be very uh, specific when you're typing what happened. And probably you're going to know uh, potentially what the incident was that got you deactivated. So just be factual, professional. Don't let emotion get into it. You don't want to uh, badmouth them or call names or threaten them, but just state what happened. And then you'll see at the end, there's a secret code there that I guess links that to the database and they say, don't touch it. So don't touch it. Once you submit your appeal, you're going to see where they say, thanks for filling out request and appeal review. And then from that point on, you're going to wait. The good news with Uber Eats is that they say they'll review your information and get back with you within five business days. Thank you, Uber Eats. Thank you. DoorDash is ridiculous, backlogged, whatever other excuse, and, and they were taking weeks, if not months. So thank you for at least being professional enough to get back to your drivers that you are terminating and unfairly deactivating within five business days. Thank you. And then after you wait a few days, you can see in this screenshot here, I was expecting a text or some message, but it just came through the app itself. There was a message in there saying, thankfully, I had been reactivated, as you can see there. So just keep an eye on your app and they'll get back with you. So what do you think of that? Their process is pretty simple and straightforward. And it's going to help you to know that you only need to submit text. So do tell them that you have pictures and video ready for their review. And if nothing else, this will show that you're serious and you have proof, even though they're vaguely accusing you of doing something bad. So now let's get into my thoughts on this entire deactivation scenario and the outcome of that. First, I was highly offended to see that Uber Eats was going to deactivate me and then not be professional and tell me a specific reason why. In my case, they just said it was due to fraud. Okay, well, do you think you could share a specific trip or day, something that could help me prepare? What if I'm doing this full time and I've done 30 orders in a day back to back? How would I know which one? So that's unprofessional on your part, Uber Eats, and you need to fix that. Next, I was saddened and demoralized, and I could feel my heart pounding when I saw that I had been deactivated. You know, come on, I use this to make money. I don't do it for free. I'm not doing it for charity. I'm doing it to work hard for your company, Uber Eats, to earn income. So I was scared and unhappy to see that I had been deactivated, especially knowing that I've already been unfairly terminated from DoorDash. It, I, I can't keep surviving like this, just burning through apps as I get deactivated. So shame on you, Uber Eats, for your unprofessionalism and how you deactivate drivers. At least give the courtesy and respect of people that are earning your money for your company and do right by them and be fair and upfront. Just share exactly what you are accusing us of and then give them a chance to answer. We're not guilty until proven innocent and this is how you're treating us. Like we're scum, nobodies, you know, it's all about the customer, make them right, but anything to do with the driver, just get rid of us. That's not right and I don't like it. The third thing, and I caution you here, be very careful. Do not contact the customer. Don't accuse them of anything and do not go back to where they live or where they work and vent your frustration with them. All that's gonna do is get you in trouble, definitely with the app 
and it's not professional. If they're dishonest, they're going to be accountable for their actions one day. But that's not up to us. We're not the police. We don't go after them. So stay far away from the customer anytime that you finish a delivery, and especially if you get deactivated from it. Yes, there are dishonest people out there. Thankfully, it's only a small percentage. Most people are just fine. And then there's the few customers that are awesome and tip really well. So don't take anything out on the customer and don't make any contact with them. It's just not worth it. You'd be better off to spend your time getting on another app or doing more deliveries and earning more money. The next thing concerning getting deactivated is please, you have to protect yourself and have multiple sources of income. So already be signed up and using other food delivery apps or other gig work type jobs so that you can keep earning money. Because as you can see from my example with Uber Eats, and if you go back in the video history, watch, watch all the DoorDash videos that I made about my uh, ridiculous time of trying to get reactivated with them. Be ready to already go out and keep earning money and not get held back when you get deactivated. And that could be Uber Eats or any of the other apps. You need to have backup ready to go because no one's gonna care that you get deactivated. It's only gonna affect you because you're not able to earn money. The next thing concerning getting deactivated is you have to protect yourself. I've made quite a few videos and just, you know, remember the timestamp camera app, remember body cameras, you know, there's multiple kinds out there. I've done reviews for Boblov, the Osmo, GoPros, those are great. You can get the magnetic chest mount, that way you're recording every time you do a delivery. Have dash cameras, especially if you're doing ride share, you must have a dash camera to protect yourself. So these are helpful. And by having backups, you at least have footage and cell phone footage, and that could be cameras or video. That way, if one of those items fail, you still have documented your delivery. And at least you have a chance to defend yourself if that specific company asks you for that footage. And again, in the case of Uber Eats, they only wanted text. And finally, my last thought on this topic is be prepared to take legal action against these companies. And yes, I'm sure in the comments, people are gonna share all the reasons why we can't do that. But I will say, if you contact a company, a lawyer that can send a letter to the legal department of Uber Eats or the legal department of the other companies, you know, maybe, maybe you're bluffing, maybe you're not. But I bet the company's gonna take your complaint a lot more seriously if you're using a lawyer to send them a legal document uh, demanding that you're reactivated due to an unfair termination or wrongful termination. Um, for example, I know it may get dated. There's several resources out there, different um, apps that you can pay for will send a letter. I have personally used LegalRideShare.com. It was $25. They sent the letter to DoorDash and I think it was effective. I think it did get a response from them when maybe I wouldn't have gotten one as soon or at all. So that is a final thing to consider. And be ready, you know, take, the, take that company to small claims court, cost them money. They're gonna have to send someone out there and you stand a good chance of getting some money from them. So legal action is always an option. And just because you do the $25 letter, I think it's well worth it. And then it's up to you if you wanna proceed from there. But I encourage you, do that every time. And I think it'll pay off because it gets their attention that you are serious and you're not gonna be bullied by that company. In this case, I didn't have to do that because uh, the turnaround time for Uber Eats was five days. And I'm glad for that. You know, I was expecting not to get reactivated just because uh, due to the character of the different gig economy app companies out there. But in this case, I did get reactivated and I'm very happy for that. And I wanna get out there and make some more money. So with that all being said, do keep in mind, and I'm serious about this, these companies absolutely do not care about you whatsoever. All they care about is money going to them from the customer. 
we are absolutely expendable. So protect yourself, document everything, and that way, if you are given the chance, you can at least defend yourself. And if nothing else, it's always good to have this kind of footage for your personal safety. That way, if there's any other, you know, God forbid issues like that of uh, physical interactions with customers that go wrong or in restaurants or driving, at least you'll have that um, to protect yourself as well and tell the story of what happened. So I do not ever wish that you're going to get deactivated, but I'll tell you what, odds are pretty good that it's going to happen. You can see from my stats here on this account, Uber Eats, you know, I've got like almost 1,300 deliveries and then I get deactivated. On DoorDash, I had, I think it was like 400 when I got deactivated. So it is very likely that this is going to happen to you. So please share your stories in the comments below. And I look forward to seeing you there. Please be very careful out there. Be mindful, be aware. And if something doesn't seem to go right on an order, then take extra time to document it because those are the ones that are likely going to come back to you. Just watch out. I'm telling you, you're at risk every time we're doing food delivery, and that's for many reasons. So stay safe out there. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video, and I hope there will never be another deactivation video that I need to make. All right, I do thank you for your attention, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.